Hello, hello, hello. It's Bonnie again from my craft room. And I did this video yesterday, but it was not well done. And so I decided I needed to do it again. So this is what we're, I wanted to show you today. It's, it's a technique that I learned it on stage last weekend, on stage at home. And <clears throat> we, we're using Stampin' Spots to make this cool background. It's a very, very simple way to add lots of color. So who likes color? Because if you like color, you are gonna really enjoy this technique. So I'm gonna set these cards aside, a couple of examples. And the one I'm going to demonstrate for you is this one. So let's get started. Um, first thing you need is a piece of paper. I did, this is five and a quarter by four. And the other thing you need is Stampin' Spot. And I have gotten so many of them through Paper Pumpkin, which is another good reason to, uh, to join the Paper Pumpkin kit because they're more and more marvelous. Beside that, you get, a, you get a spot every month, a different color. But if you don't, and you want to create your own Stampin' Spots, we do have uninked ones, and you can use an ink refill. And all you do is, Put some, put drops on it, um, 10 drops, 12 drops, whatever it needs. Let it soak in and you've created your own stamp, your own ink pad. So I'm going to put that to the side. I just wanted to quick show you in case you're interested. I'm going to let that soak in while we do this. So here's my blank piece of paper. You can see I used this yes for yesterday's um, video. And because I don't want to waste, I'm going to use it again for today's video. So I'm taking my stamping spot, and this is Crushed Curry. And this is one that I got in a paper pumpkin. And I'm going to just slide it across. If you want to, you can get, get it as deep as you want. My next color is Daffodil Delight. You can see how easy this is, girls. You can tell I start off and end off the paper. Boy, those look exactly the same, but they aren't. Um, the next one is the Coastal Cabana. Ah, look at that color, it's gorgeous. And then this is one that I made and it's Poppy Parade. You can see it was uninked at one point and I, I did it. So the, for the fourth one, I turned it around because it's awfully hard to um, you know, hold it down otherwise. And this one, I have been known to go over several times. Actually, I'm going to go over again. I think I need to re-ink this one. I've been using it a lot. Okay, so there you go. There's a gorgeous background full of color. And now what we're going to do is add, um, you can tell in these that the stamp sets that work the best are the ones that are really um, uh, solid. This this stamp sets the bl Blossoms in Bloom is not as solid because it's a distinctive stamp set, but it sure fills the card and that was my goal this time. So I'm going to ink that up and I went ahead, I'm using my big pad, but if you didn't have one, you can certainly use your gorgeous great ink spot and it could this could be an all ink spot card. So I'm going to go ahead line up my blossoms and blooms and I'm going to give it some pressure. Okay, got it. Now I am going to use my gorgeous grape spot. Oh, I didn't get the one that was open already. No, I guess I'm not. For my get well soon. I'm, I think that this would make a marvelous get well card as bright and happy as it is. And I'm going to line it up. Now what I do is I really use the lines on my grid paper. Now with the photopolymer, oops, number one, they're very sticky, but number two, you can really see what you're doing with them. So I'm going to go ahead and line that up. I thought I had it done for you, but better to be safe than sorry. I'm inking up the gorgeous grape and I'm just going to put that right up here, straight down straight up, get well soon. I am going to go ahead and use the um, little insides. Oh, I wish I knew all these technical terms. Again, with the gorgeous grape, full strength. I'm leaving it monochromatic. You can certainly, you could certainly use a different color. 
for these. I just decided to make it as easy as I can. So there you go. There's the front of our card. It was that simple, that easy. I am gonna go ahead and attach. And if you notice, I always open my card when I go to attach or I go to stamp because I wanna make sure, oops, little gorgeous grape got there. I wanna make sure that I have this flattest surface. And I'm using my stamp and seal, which if you have any troubles getting it to work, once you get it started, just go over where you have been and it'll catch that adhesive and run like a charm. Quiet and perfect. So here I am gonna attach it to a gorgeous grape card base. I've got the inside, which I'm going to attach. Oh no, I don't wanna attach yet. I am gonna, I wanted to add this to it because I thought it would be fun. I'm gonna do it this way. To have something on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this piece of paper and then I'm gonna take my snips because it's too long. And I just, I, I've been doing this so much that I've got some extra. But if you wanna make your pieces a little bigger, this just adds some fun to the inside. We could trim it the size that it's gonna be, but I just decided for expediency to go ahead and do this. So I am then going to attach it here. And ta-da, I have a very, this is called simple stamping and it is as simple as it comes, bright, colorful, and so fun. Now, for those of you that like a little bit more to your cards, I went ahead and added a layer here and some ribbon. And of course, any ribbon, I use the white ribbon because it goes with everything, but use what you have on, on hand, whatever colors you have on hand. I always recommend that you buy the, the ink refill when you buy your stamp set because it's so many uses. And then this is the really stepped up version and it is made with the dyes. It's crushed curry and daffodil dyes, added some rhinestones. I popped up the, the sentiment. I have it on the ribbon on there and I put it on the poppy. So those are three ways you can do the same technique, all bright and colorful. And just real quick, here's, here's already what my Calypso Coral ink, ink spot's looking at. You do want it to soak in, but that's how fast it starts doing that. So I'm gonna cover that up and hope you enjoy this. Hope you give it a try. If you have any questions, please contact me. Until the next time, keep stamping. Bye.